Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dokonic here, and today we're going to be going over the 20th World Tournament on the JP side of Dokon Battle. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it beforehand. I just want to say, if you're new here, go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. I do event analysis like these all the time. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about the card. Success into the Golden Warrior Super Saiyan Gohan Tina. This is the card that everyone's going to be going for. This is the World Tournament prize for the 20th World Tournament. Uh, this card, this guy overall, is a really, really good unit for a super team. Uh, assuming you're not running uh, Vegito Blue or Super Vegito. Uh, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about the stats real quick. Leader scale is Super Types, Key plus 2, HP and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack is Key Blast Cannon causes supreme damage to the enemy rare chance to stun passive skill hero secret super types key plus two attack and defense plus 25 percent link skills are super saiyan golden warrior the saiyan lineage saiyan warrior race z fighters hero for justice his max stats are hp of 91 94 attack of 75 96 and defense of 47 57 he is available right now only on the JP version for the 20th World Tournament. He needs an Elder Kai medal to a Z Awaken, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. So, that is the full information about the card. A 12 key multiplier of 130% is a little bit underwhelming, but, you know, for World Tournament prize, what can you really expect? Uh, so, let's talk about his viability on a super team. Well, in my opinion, uh, just from running a straight agility, 70% agility team on the global version, I can tell you that having a unit that stuns when you're running a, a Super Vegito really sucks. I mean, it, it sucks because the Super Vegito, his main, well, one of his major things is to counterattack. And if you can't get attacked, if a Super Vegito can't get attacked, or Vegito Blue in this matter, can't get attacked, then he is not going to be able to counter. When you have a stunning unit, unit when the enemy is stunned, yeah, okay, it's cool because, you know, they're stunned, they can't attack, and you're doing all this extra damage. But how many situations have you been in when you get attacked two times, the uh, Super Vegito gets attacked two times, and you get two counters, and assuming, you know, even without crits, they're doing about 100 to 200,000 damage uh, per counter. He's really going after the units, you know? Uh, I, I don't really like the stunning because it takes away from your ability to actually use that counter, that counter attack with the Super Vegito or the Vegito Blue. Assuming that you're not, that you don't have either of those two, then this card is super freaking viable. Because um, then he's he's stunning the enemy, and you have a super team, and he's getting a really good passive skill off. I mean, also, let's just keep in the consideration that there's a rare chance, to, a rare chance to stun, and it's only on a super attack, but because he does have the key plus two and golden warrior, assuming your hero's team is mostly super saiyans, he, that's key plus three, you only need three orbs, and chances of you not not getting three orbs, it's very hard to set him up to not super attack. I mean, uh, it's definitely possible. And hey, you know what, if you prefer stunning over that over um, countering, then hey, you know what, by all means, you go ahead and use him. I just specifically remember running the Buhan event and having the agility uh, ultimate Gohan, and he stuns. So whenever he did a super attack, the enemy got stunned, or the Whis actually, the Whis did it too, uh, and he, they super attacked and then he got stunned, and then I ended up having to go to the next stage and the next stage of the Buhan event, when typically if I didn't have the stunning unit, I was able to beat the Buhan event, I think, by like the second stage of it, but, you know, again, that's just my opinion on the matter, guys, uh, he is still a very good card, he's a very viable card, for me personally, I would say that he is more of a collectible unit for me, uh, supreme damage to the enemy too, I mean, I guess you can, um, you know, get his super attack raised up but that would be cool but you know whatever again that's uh that's not my thing but he's still don't get me wrong he, i'm not trying to say he's overrated you know, he's still a decent unit in general but just not for my cup of tea for a super team on a strength team i could see him being more viable but then again he doesn't really have all the major links that a strength team would have uh, unless you're a newer player i mean there's so many better units that you could run assuming you have all the optimal units but it's outside of that, guys, I really don't, again, I don't mean to be underselling him. He is still a really good card. But let's go ahead and talk about the New World Tournament. Um, first off, the New World Tournament on the JP side now has a 30-time multiplier um, for gaining points. I, myself, haven't played this. I'm just going off the Reddit post that was posted up by Chromaka Star. I'm sorry I've, 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 if I'm butchering your name. I really apologize for it, but uh, I'm... Basing it off of that because there was a big post about World Tournament 30 time ambition bonus. Uh, I was going looking through. Apparently, Broly can one shot. The LR Broly can one shot everyone. Uh, sometimes he doesn't, sometimes he does, but it's super ridiculous. If you don't have um, uh, an AoE, a good AoE like that Broly or a nuking tactic AoE like the Majin Vegeta, uh, the 
deck Majin here. I'm not sure how the agility, the agility one probably won't nuke the field as well. You would probably need to actually run a nuking tactic with him, but hey, you know what, whatever. Uh, there is a 30 time multiplier on here, so that's pretty cool. I hope that comes to global really soon. I know the global side is getting really shafted with the world tournaments. We are so far behind, I don't think we're ever going to catch up. They really even skipped world tournament prizes to try and keep us uh, at least somewhat on par. But um, yeah, 30 time multiplier, go ahead, go for it if you can. If not, um, you know, uh, I understand it. They, they do kind of tailor it towards the pay to play players because 30 time multiplier, unless you have, you know, gotten really lucky pulls, chances are the only way you're going to really be able to go for the top, you know, the top tier is by being a pay to play player. With that LR Broly or having a good nuking tactic. So let's go ahead and talk about the ranking rewards real quick. So if you guys aren't aware, and again, I don't know 100% if the JP side has switched this around recently or not, but before they used to give you uh, 10 of the first pl uh, 10 cards for first place. Now they're giving you 14 for the dupe pads. So it makes sense. Finally, thank you Bandai for actually catching on and doing that. Um, so now you, the first place guy gets 14 of whatever card is there. You get three guaranteed SSRs. You get 10 Dragon Ball to summon tickets. Uh, you get 10 Elder Kai's, and you get 10 Platinum Hercule Medals, which I believe is 2.5 million. And you get the like, you know, the two Elder Kai's, the two Supreme Kai's, all the other Awakening Medals and training items. Uh, looks like now though, the training items you get the really good tortoise shells, which is awesome. Everyone loves those tortoise shells. They're really good for training up your LRs and TURs. Um, the, the other rewards, you go all the way down. You get that Gohan up until the 10,000th place. You get one. Um, the top 1,000, you get five of him, so it changed a little bit. I mean, it's still only up to the top 10,000. Sometimes it's 5,000. I guess it depends on the world tournament. Anything after 10,000, you're not getting him, so chances like I'm not going to get him. Local rankings are still the same. First place, you get two Piccolos and 40 Master Marks. Um, everything from two from the second place to the 100th place, you get one Piccolo. Uh, second place is 40 Master Marks, and then you get... Uh, 30 master marks for the 10th place, 11 to 20 is 20 master marks, 20 to 50 is 10 master marks, and 50 to 100 is 8 master marks. Um, after that, you scroll all the way down to 250, and the last one is 2 master marks and 1 silver ticket for the Dragon Ball Summons. Now, I'm not going to go over every single mission reward. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what the maximum mission reward of each type is. So, you get the 20 times wins in a row. The next on 20 time wins in a row, you get a gravity chain chamber times 10, 150. So that's really good, especially with the new event that's going to be coming out. Well, the new training system that will be coming out. Uh, the next one is reaching the Beerus tier. The next one is attaining 30 million points from the ceremony. That one's really good because actually the last two rewards there are Elder Kai's. You get five Elder Kai's from getting 30 million points in the, in the tournament. That's pretty much doing 20, uh, 20 rounds. Uh, or you get 20 wins in a row, uh, assuming you're using the maximum multiplier, you're going to be really close to it. Uh, consecutive victories, you get up to 20 of them, and 20 of them you get the silver, uh, guaranteed SSR, 3 of them. So that's pretty cool, and you get dragon stones throughout, really essentially just to revamp your, uh, your, your uh, stamina bar. But um, yeah, that's the world tournament that's coming out, that's out right now. It's going to be available, I believe, until Sunday, so... You know, keep on grinding out, guys. Good luck if you're going for the grind. I'm not really going to be doing it just because I'm not a big fan of them. I, mean, I don't play the JP that much, and I'm not really a big fan of that Gohan. Pro if he comes to Global, I'll probably grind out, grind out to get at least one of him just for collective purposes, but that's about it. But hey, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you are new here, and I will catch you all in the comments below.